Let's go to uh, Galatians 3, starting in verse 26. 326. So it says, <clears throat> For you are all children of God through faith in Christ Jesus. And all of you have been united with Christ in baptism, have put on Christ like putting on new clothes. There's no longer Jew or Gentile, slave or free, male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Now that you belong to Christ, you are the true children of Abraham. You are heirs of God's promise. To Abraham, um, you are his heirs, and God's promise to Abraham belongs to you. Okay. Um, so I read that because, <clears throat> you know, our our true identity should be in Christ Jesus. And to not let the world define who we are. <clears throat> I know a lot of times, uh, um, you know, we let the world define us by our positions and titles. Um, I mentioned that when I was doing the lesson on who Christ says he is. So it's not who we are, it's, it's whose we are. And we are um, <clears throat> children of God. And we put, I think we put too much faith or, or emphasis on our job titles and positions. Yeah. Um, my, uh, I have a son and daughter and, you know, they're both uh, good education. They both have good jobs, they're both self-sufficient. You know, they don't call me, ask me for money, although I'd give it to them if they asked. <laughs> but uh, my one, you know, hope and one you know, desire for them is to become believers. You know, I mean, it's great. You get a master's degree. That's excellent. But um, the whole thing is to, you know, to become a believer. That would weigh more than the master's degree. <clears throat> but um, as believers, our faith would be in Christ Jesus. And we, sh we should not, <clears throat> that should not be our first pass as to what type of employment a person has or what they do is who they are, or more important, whose they are. Right. Yes. I love the scripture. One is we see, for you are all son of God through faith in Christ Jesus. Sometimes I am thinking and in, in myself, thinking myself during uh, when I lay down and sometimes okay. One thing, what I'm thinking is, uh, as we are Christian, we are really, really oppressed people. One, and sometimes I used to compare with the Old Testament people and the New Testament people, how we are blessed people, because in the Old Testament. Only Jewish people they have they receive a privilege, you will see. Mm -hmm. But God has given a privilege. One thing is God wants them to know who God is. Anyway, he revealed he will see in the book, he will see the lives of Joseph also, and Joshua also. Yes, God wants how the people of Israel is very powerful, God or not. The people they know. It's okay, but one thing is in the New Testament, in as we as we are, how we are grateful people. What I'm thinking that one, I really thank to God. We have, we did, we did nothing. We did nothing. He grace in us. That's what we see. For you are church, you are all son of God through Christ. Faith in Christ Jesus. In verse 27, for as many of you were baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. Yes, we are put in Christ. We are baptized in Christ only, not in other. That's what we see in this passage. Only those who have put their faith in Christ are God, truth, spiritual children. We are his children. Because of God's children, we have received inheritance. Amen. That kind, that 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 uh, thing. I'm thinking that I really thankful to God because of I am blessed people. I am blessed because of He is great to me. Amen. 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 Thank you. Yes. 
you know, the great privilege that us, that we're Gentiles, and now we, we've been baptized into the family of Jesus Christ. Great privilege. You're absolutely right, Brother Thang. But yes, I like this, I like, I like this passage as well, because, you know, <clears throat> just look at our group right now. We're so diverse. You know, we got Brother Thang, we have myself. I mean, we're all different, all of us, different nationalities. And yet we're family of Christ because of our faith in Christ Jesus. We've all been baptized into, into Christ by putting on Christ. And so that makes us family. That makes us one in Christ. You know, neither Jew nor, nor Greek, nor slave, nor free, nor male, nor female. We're all one in Christ. So praise the Lord for that. In verse 29, we see it. And if you are Christ, then is very beautiful passage. And if you are cry, then you are children, sit and err according to the promise. This promise, God has promised in us. Amen. We are error. Amen. Sit. 